Hey guys, it's Tyler Hill. Gonna this is a tutorial on how to uh, how I do my retouching on some certain photos. And so I got a photo here of a band that I shot this weekend called Ismene I S M E N E. Just look them up on MySpace, if, uh, Facebook, Pure Volume, whatever. Just look them up. They're a pretty cool band. Um, they're uh, they're actually a metal and hardcore band. So if you're into that music, uh, look them up. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I do my retouching. So go to full screen right here. And I started out with the sharpening and layer mask, which basically duplicates the background layer and sharpens it totally. Then creates a layer mask and masks over it with black so I can go with a brush and brush in what I want sharpened. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to zoom in, make this 100%, the opacity 100%. Make my brush smaller and sharpen the eyes. Make it look more focused. And there you go. That's done. Where's that layer down? Because I like to keep everything organized and unconfusing if that's even a word or not confusing doesn't matter right now I just I like to keep everything flattened and layered or unlayered when I want to do an actual composite or when I need a lot of layers or something like that I know how to do it and it's just with these simple retouching things like that I just keep it pretty simple and pretty straightforward so on to the next step um, alright so I'm going to do this dodging, dodging and burning thing which is a pretty big fad right now around with all the uh, photographers it's a big style that I've noticed on Flickr and everything like that so um, basically what it does is it dodging is lightning and burning is darkening if you don't already know that then look it up on YouTube um, so yeah I'm gonna do this but I do it a little differently and I, it's in the fact that I use a brush instead of the actual dodge and burning tool and I use the brushes black for dodge or burning and white for uh, dodging there you go so basically created a blank layer, filled it in with gray, and made it overlay. So I'm not going to do all their faces because it, it is very time consuming to get it down and perfect it. But bring down the opacity down to about 20%, 19, 20, whatever. Make it white and just go over it. Go over all the highlights. His face is highlighted because this was shot with a stroke. Straight on. And just keep going. I'm going to go smog over his nose and everything like that. And basically dodging the face can, um, makes the tones of the face, or the facial tones, consistent throughout the whole face. So it's a little desired and things like that. So then make it black. Increase the size a little bit and then go down to the shadows. What this does is it makes his face look more dimensional and his chin look more defined, which who wouldn't like, you know? Yeah. So, and then I dodge his hair a little bit and things like that just to make it look more contrasted and things. So yeah, that's what I would do that with everyone. If you want to take a look at 100% of the photo, fit it in here. 100% of the photo, to turn off the layer, you can see that it just it makes his face look cleaner and crisp. So then I'm gonna make make the the uh, paintbrush again black, make it bigger. I already added a, a vignette in aperture. I'm just going to darken it out a little bit in Photoshop. Just go over it with the black brush. It just makes it look darker and ominous. And there you go. Here's the dodging. Now the last part that I do, and I like to do these very like very fast and very simple, so I don't like to do a lot of work on these. 
I have to keep it pretty simple and self-explanatory. So I go to here, sharpen, unsharp mask. And I sharpen the whole thing called radius about two. And if you want to zoom into 100% of the pixels, that's not 100%. Here, here, let's just do this. Let's just go ahead and type it. And you can see the difference of the sharpening. It gives it a grungier look. And that's about it. Where's that layer down? And voila. Now again, all the dodging burning I did on his face, I would do on each one of their faces and things like that. And I also like go in and get all of his acne out and his acne and his acne and well, he doesn't have a lot of acne, so. But uh, and that's about it. If I if I had anything to remove, I think in the in the final photo I did, I removed his keychain. And uh, if this. Uh, and I'm running CS5 right now, so I can just do this and go over with the uh, spot healing brush. Or is that? The, yeah, the spot healing brush. And it makes it very simple because you have a content aware in CS5 and it makes it beautiful. It's a very easy trick and makes it my life so much simpler. But that's about it. And then just go file save and you're done. So I hope this helped a lot and I hope you enjoy because I know I, uh, I did and took me a couple of years to actually figure out my workflow and at retouching and I'm always looking for new and better ways of doing things so if you have any ideas or tips let me know thanks